Today's tips and tricks video is going to be covering Sindri, who a lot of you guys know is one of the best heroes in the game and are probably wondering why do I need a tips and tricks video on a character when it's just place down the rage ball and win the game. Well, crazy enough as it may seem, if you actually use these tips and tricks, your win rate's going to go from 99% to 100% when using Sindri. So without further ado, let's dive right into this. So first of all, when we have a look at Sindri, she does have this plasma drill. It is a three round burst. And funny enough, I think that she is one of the characters that is actually better if you're gonna master her by using the manual fire. Now, the reason why I say this is her three round burst gun travels extremely slow when you compare it to other heroes like the Hunter. So by the time the bullets get to their target when the auto fire goes off, most of the time, if they're further than like mid range to mid long range, you're only gonna land one, if any, of your three round burst gun shots. So overall, being able to lead your shots with the manual fire and not have the auto fire go off will make you a better player in the long run. I personally am going to be using auto fire because like I said, I'm not trying to fully be the craziest injury in the game, but you might wanna consider doing so if you want to get better with this character now what makes Sindri so broken. The plasma drill gun is still strong in the super close range to the close to mid, but it is the rage ball that makes her disgusting. And we have a load of rage ball tips and tricks to give off. So if number one, use the rage ball to peek corners for you. One of the things in this game is if someone's holding a corner before you and you walk out, you're not gonna know where they're at and they'll know exactly where you're gonna walk from. So they'll get the first shots on you and do some crazy damage. But one thing you can do with a rage ball is just before you're about to pass the corner, drop the rage ball out and it'll let you know if anybody's looking in your direction because it'll start to fire. They'll freak out. They're either going to have to try and use the rate or break the rage ball or unpeak. But either way, if you drop the rage ball on a close corner and then wide swing with it, you'll find a lot of success. Number two, use the rage ball to watch for flanks. This one here is very, very good. If you notice the patterns in your opponents, especially if they're using SMG heroes, those players like to look for flanks. So if you're not having the rage ball on the front line, you've got a very strong team, like a Ruby in the front or something like that, then drop the rage ball in a position to where it can still help you guys on the front line, but it can also pick up the flank because when these characters flank these squishy SMG heroes, the rage ball is going to start whittling down their health and then you'll be able to turn around and finish them in one to two shots. My next tip is to use the rage ball as a shield before you end up taking damage yourself. So the good thing about the rage ball is it is quite big, so you can actually hide behind it. So if an enemy starts to shoot, the rage ball will take all of the damage before the rage ball breaks and then you'll be able to then start taking damage yourself but by then they'll have already used a lot of their ammo even if they break the rage ball now you're left they're caught reloading and you're able to land down some amazing shots all in the meantime the rage ball is still doing damage to them so they will be quite weak now for the recall on the rage ball you need to do this as soon as it's about to be broken because when the rage ball is not broken and you recall it yourself It'll only have a cooldown, I believe, of only like two to three seconds before you can drop the rage ball once again. If the enemy is able to break your rage ball, then the cooldown for placing another rage ball will be like eight to 10 seconds. So being able to recall it just before it breaks is actually a really, really good idea. Now she does have two ultimates, these ones here. I will say overall, for the most part, the rage ball drop pot is way better than the rage ball upgrade. And my main reasoning for that is the Rage Ball upgrade still uses the Rage Ball, whereas the Drop Bot does not, and it also finds value for your entire team. But if you do want to use the Rage Ball upgrade, my number one tip is, I guess in the solo queue, it can be kind of strong, because if you're trying to hyper carry as Sindri, you feel like your teammates have not been up to par lately, then having this Rage Ball upgrade will allow you to burst down for those really big and fast pushes. Now, the one reason why this ability can be weak at some times is that, if you're going up against like a Ruby or a Jabali or any of these characters that have shield and you pop off your Rage Ball upgrade, it only lasts for four seconds. So because of that, if there's a shield up, you're gonna find yourself doing no damage to anything or anyone on the field. And now you've just wasted the ultimate, but it does make her extremely tanky and it does do a lot of damage. So if you're able to hang on to it and let's say you push and an SMG player gets on top of you or their best player is nearby, the one that does all the damage, then you can use this ultimate to quickly shut them down and turn the tide of the fight. But the ability that I wanna talk about here is the Rage Paul 
drop pod. I've got a couple of tips with this one right here. Number one, the ground shield or the drop pod rather should be placed in a spot where it can't easily be destroyed. The one thing about this ability is that it can literally last the entire game if you guys don't end up using all of the charges. But the one counter to it is the fact that somebody can just walk up, shoot it and break it out. And now you lose all of your value. So it's very important to place this, let's say like in a corner somewhere right before the main entrance. So you guys can just walk onto it, grab all of that extra temporary shield and then walk out into the battlefield. And you guys can like go back and forth, make sure you use up all the charges. And it's just really hard to kill people when the temporary shield is given off 21 100 extra, not only for you, but for any of your teammates that walk into the rage ball. The next tip is you can drop your rage ball itself inside of it for an indestructible rage ball. Now, what I mean by this is the really good thing about this ability is that if you are standing in it or if anything is standing in it and people start doing damage to you, the second the temporary shield runs out, you get another charge of temporary shield until the entire thing runs out. So in some certain situations, you can place your rage ball inside of it. And this you now all of a sudden you have an indestructible rage ball because the rage ball itself already has all of this hp and it's very hard to destroy but now it's going to get all this temporary shield over and over and over until it is destroyed or until they destroy the rage ball itself now for the passive the rage ball assist this is actually a very very good ability because this here when you recall the drone it'll help you get some extra temporary shield i mean all of this shield with this character but most of the time you want to use this when you are escaping death or during really close gunfights because if you have the rage ball down a lot of players will try to target you as the Sindri yourself because if they can take you down then all of a sudden the rage ball is going to get destroyed as well so when you start to get low you're starting to get really really close to that one hp if you time it well you call the rage ball back now all of a sudden you have 1400 temporary shield and this puts you right back into the fight so overall i mean this character if you want to be crazy use the rage ball drop pod and go nuts when it comes to the best team comps for Sindri, i am a big believer and i know a lot of my team comps always come with that tank on the front line but i really believe that ruby Sindri, and iris is just one of the most toxic team comps to deal with because they have such a good unity you can also replace of course ruby with the jabali on some of the closer range maps because jabali himself when someone masters him is really really disgusting as a frontline tank so now you guys have shields to protect yourself you have a fourth teammate on the field with the rage ball you got a shield protecting the rage ball you've got your rage ball drop pot on the field granting everybody extra shields and you have a healer keeping you guys all alive it's just so hard to stop this team comp in a smaller map or even like the medium sized maps but if you do start playing on some of those really big maps then my suggestion is play with the ruby and that's when it has to be a ruby you can't really swap that with jabali because on those long range maps you need that crazy carry potential on the front line so you go with the ruby the Sindri, and then either a hosas or a hualing just to really give you guys that backline presence and make sure you don't get overwhelmed as a whole now of course it comes down to the best modes and the best game uh the best maps for Sindri, and she's one of the characters as a lot of the other mid-range characters but especially her where she does not necessarily have a weak map she's a very good character that that rage ball just finds her so much value so you're not going to find a bad map or game mode to play her with the one thing i will say is the longer range the map the more you have to be very smart because if you're a smart synergy player you can utilize those close corners close spots but even like some of the biggest maps on the payload escort where you would think her gun would be a liability the rage ball on the objective makes up for it so overall no weak maps no weak game modes but without further ado let's hop into the gameplay okay so we're starting off here in the free for all but it looks like this is going to be a very sweaty game let's peek the corner here with the bot just like i said distraction swing wide swing it's always so hard to stop that a little triple kill i recall oh i'm stuck i got slowed by hauling she's up top do i die to her oh no my rage ball oh i was going for a crazy play my rage ball got destroyed by the hauling if not i was gonna I, I was gonna recall it get the extra shield grab the full heal that would have been nuts Get my revenge. Yeah, she's destroying that in like one shot. It's kind of nuts. Oh my. Look, she. <laughs> G 
GOS clan. That's like a pretty sweaty, uh, sweaty clan in this game. So I'm not surprised. He knows better than to leave me be for free. Man's looking for me with that it's ultimate. I respect it. Recall the drone. Oh man. Oh, he was one HP. I should have been able to focus up there to get the kill. No bueno, but that's a lot of heat going down in the mid. I just realized there is another synergy in the game. It's honestly been a very long time since that has happened. So we'll go with the uh, ultimate here. We just really truly gotta avoid falling. Stole that. Because Walling can one shot us out of this. That's the thing. Her, even though her ultimate's strong, it's like at the end of the day, if Walling decides. Luckily, we're big chilling. We'll play the heal now. Fortunately, we might have to walk away from this. I'm not. I'm not seeing any more smoke. We're using up all our shields. We got one more left. We'll kill Hualing though. It's worth it. Oh, a little double kill to clean up the rest of the lobby. Okay, so Hunter. It's going to be interesting because Hunt... their, their synergy isn't the greatest in the world. But if Hunter can hard carry, he can hard carry. Looks like my hunter is the one that's putting in the work. Yep, my hunter is the one putting in the work. His name is Jesus. Good Lord and Savior, bro. Guaranteed win right here. Because the thing with their synergy is they have to play so close with each other. At least the Iris and the Jabali. So having a mid range hero is better than having a long range hero. Here, I'm just gonna play back. I'm dead though, for sure. Maybe not. Hunter coming back to save my life. enough brother nice ultimate she's not even playing in it haha <laughs> it's a good troll I'm pretty sure I can do this you want to place on the back end of it look at this ultimate formation right here we already all use the shields pretty much <laughs> Burrow thinks we can't see him. Good shots. Alright. Look at that. What a beautiful sight. I have to do this real quick. This is a beautiful thumbnail picture. That's a beautiful thumbnail picture. Nice shots, yeah, my my boy Jesus. Piecing him up, bro. Oh, little lag there. The payload is approaching its destination. One final push, guaranteed dub right here. Oh yeah, I mean it's a decent. I mean it's a good idea of an ultimate, but you gotta walk on it to contest. Oh, gonna be dead actually. That's a good ultimate from them. One final push that will be fine. One one little push. 
literally like one meter away. What do they use? Iris ultimate, Jabali ultimate, and a couple charges of the Hunter ultimate. So they use everything. I got my ultimate over here. Now we get the shields. Open up the angle with that. Oh, he missed. Yeah, he's dead. She's dead. Jabali's dead. No, not yet. Nah, no, he's dead. Yeah, GG. Yes, sir. Alrighty, we've got a hunter. Ugh. Hunter and the glory. We do have a, what's it called on our team? The young goat, Osas, but depending on how and where they play this. Could get a little dicey, because if eventually I, oh my gosh. When did she get over there? That's a good play from glory, I can't really. I can't really get upset at that. It's just well played. He's one HP. He can't swing me. Oh, I missed out on an opportunity to get some kills there, I ain't gonna lie. Hmm. Oh my gosh. Is heal still here? Nice. I'm gonna recall my, my bot here and get some extra health. Oh, I have to reload, I trolled. Thank you, teammate. Save my neck, dude. I trolled. This is gonna hurt. No. Your team is halfway to victory. She not peeking at it anymore? I accidentally dropped it into. That's annoying. I accidentally dropped my ball into the thing, so <laughs> I got the shield for it. Nice, good cross map help. Oh, you scared me, bro. I was like, I'm taking. Call it and throw it around the peak to corner. Oh. I'm going back to the right side now. We can put our drone, put our stuff here again. GG's, bro. Super, super sweaty game we got going on here, ladies and gents. And they have a proper team comp that I literally recommended for you guys. So we are about to get stomped low-key. Low-key, like low-key, you're about to get stomped. But if we're better, we're better. Thank you, Kazuma, for focusing down the high priority target. I got mine. 
I got mine, but you see, you see what I mean there about having a uh, manual fire. I might even just start playing manual fire this game. I'm not gonna turn off the setting, but it's like because she's moving so much. By the time the auto fire actually gets off, I'm already like missing, and that's not even that far away either. But it's all good. Oh, lockdown on the healer, bro. Look at that smart place drone. Like, you still got to answer to the drone. That's just so smart, bro. Like, yeah, it's just so smart. You got to answer to that. Like. My drone died right when I was trying to recall it. I don't know about... I mean, we, we got out all their ultimates. So it's like, if they want to use their ultimates to take over the point, that's fine. But I don't know why we were so deep into their, their spawn. And now we're going in one by one. Nice. Good stuff, Kazuma. Okay, we got the shields off. Bad ultimate. Not a bad ultimate at all. Your team is halfway to victory. Nice shots. We'll heal up our drone and then place it back on the top corner here. That's ah, not top corner, but corner nonetheless. A little misplaced. I gotta, I gotta live with that. Good ultimate. Kazama. Let's go, dude. That's so good. That's so good. Triple kill, bro. That's so good. He might have just won us the game, like, actually. Because that was all of their ultimates. That's how they got the, the objectives before. So for us to stop that there, it's huge. Your team is taking the objective. She's rocking the same ultimate. GG's unable to hold it down, baby. I mean, that's a that's a mirror matchup. Ha <laughs> ha! Across the board. I'm really worried about their synergy because synergy just is such a strong control or crystal assault game mode player. We gotta do here. Somebody got past us. Okay, that's fine. No way. Walking me down. I missed I missed one shot. One shot too many. Like we're not losing a Johnny Jet, right? Okay, we're good now. Our giant just doing. No, he's not. No, he's not. Oh yeah, I came to play, baby. <clears throat> My Christina being uh, very, very, very useful. Did we get Johnny? We did, yeah. Nice. With this ultimate here? Oh, I'm almost dead. Trolling. Uh... 
nobody scared of you, brother. Bro, Christina, that their Christina is cold with it, right? My Christina is whipping. Oh, good. My drone's carrying me. Hold it down, Johnny. Christina, bro. Look at their Christina. She don't miss. Their, their Christina don't miss. No cap. But I have my ultimate. One more ultimate. Triple crystal damage. We should be able to win the game off that. Good feed. Should have waited till triple. I think we out damage Christina. If I put my stuff down here, we should be able to win the game. I can win, I think. Um, it's gonna be close. I win it, though. Let's go. Victory. Too good.